Hi, welcome to Tai Chi Class 8. I'm going to talk a bit about breathing as we do our exercises today. Um, by all means, just follow along and do your own thing if you're not ready to focus on breathing. Um, I normally tend not to overload with breathing instructions. I often um, just invite my students to notice their breathing as a gentle introduction. It can be calming and meditative to focus on the breath. Um, there's guidance and tradition that I'll introduce you to, um, to explore or not. Um, traditionally in Tai Chi we breathe in and out through the nose. The martial origin of this I was taught was that it was to conserve saliva on the battlefield. Um, there are other reasons why it's healthier to breathe through the nose. Um, and we breathe deep into the belly. Um, you may have heard me say this. Um, before. This is to do with Taoist longevity breathing. Um, I, I made some notes on from energyarts.com. Taoist longevity breathing is about sinking, um, focusing on the sinking and rising of the diaphragm, which is the natural body mechanism that pushes air in and out of our lungs. Largely our body, you know, breathing is something we're already doing, so it's not something to <laughs> to worry about too much and to celebrate maybe that, you know, that our body is doing this miraculous thing. But um, focusing on the breath helps to center awareness in your body rather than in your head. This Taoist longevity breathing helps you to feel physically um, and energetically more grounded helps you relax your neck, shoulders and arms, improves circulation of the blood, flow of qi in the internal organs, and massages the internal organs. The Taoist longevity breathing is um, with breathing smoothly and deeply and exhaling fully. So um, generally uh, in the form and uh, to an extent in the qigongs the breathing breathing in comes with the moving upwards like an expansion um, or backwards like a building up of the energy and then um, breathing out is down in the qigongs uh, and in the form breathing out is a is a um, forwards kind of propulsion um, I'll say as we go along, um, obviously with the, some of the chikungs uh, um, we're moving sideways, so that's uh, slightly different. And then um, I decided it was about time we did number five in the Five Immortal series, if you've been wondering what number five is. <laughs> um, and then when I went to look, into, look at where we were in the form, I realised that um, it coincides with Immortal number five is the same uh, move, so that's come together nicely. And I'll, I will add the times to the description of the video, so you can skip straight to the form if that's the bit that you're interested in. Um, but join me for um, a bit of breathing first. <laughs> so eagle flying is probably the one where I have talked about breathing, if at all. Um, the most so standing hip width with the toes turned in slightly so the feet are parallel and sinking down remembering our if you're wanting to do a working on the spine lengthening from last week last class so just maybe sinking up and down Breathing in on the way up. So it's nice to do the arms here because then we're getting the expansion in the belly. Expanding the breath into the chest. And then breathing out, emptying completely. So sometimes it can take a bit of practice to um, be moving in time with the breath, you might need to move slower or faster depending on your how d uh, deep your breath is or, d or deepening the breath with the body 
going with what the body's doing. Sinking lower or shallower. Breathing in, gathering. Breathing out. Letting go. Breathing out, melting down, letting go of tension. Breathing in, filling up. Allowing the breath to fill up in through the fingertips. So the breathing in and out through the nose is a guidance for the form um, with the Qigong or with the form by all means um, play with what feels right for you there's no hard and fast rules um, and pranayama breathing I think they more often breathe out through the mouth as a more of a fuller kind of way of emptying If your nose is blocked, obviously you'd be more be happier breathing in and out through the mouth. This one's one of my favourite ones to move with the breath because it's almost the, the sinking and rising matching like the curve of the sink and the rise matches the curve of the in and out breath with no pause. just does bring extra grounding into the body breathing and um, focusing on the breath and breathing with the breath it's also nice to give the movement to timing some it's I quite like the breath as something to hang um, the timing on something that felt nice when I introduced it into my form um, I, it was quite a, a long way into my practice when I started um, breathing doing the form really tying it that bit together so I'm not going to focus on that too much but um, in the jigungs let's show you the five immortals um, so their options with the five immortals I would say so um, same posture and um, firstly shifting the weight just making sure we've got the structure the knee over the ankle pointing the same way as the toes so we're shifting to one side, turning, shifting and turning, just letting the breath do whatever it needs to do for now. And then stalks down in the water. So what I like to do this slowly, it's nice to do chigung slowly, it's easy to do it correctly. It's not a vigorous, not designed to be a vigorous exercise. But one reason I say notice the breath is that sometimes your breath might be breathing to, um, as according to what your body needs at, at this time. For me, I tend to breathe out, coming to the centre. And it's just slightly sinking down, breathing out. And then breathe in as I'm shifting. And as my um, hips reach that um, stopping point, the, I finish the in-breath and then breathing out, coming to the centre. So 
you just want to try that one. I breathe fairly slowly and deeply, so this is where you may want to move to your own breath rather than move into my timing. Even just doing this basic form um, of this Qigong, getting the timing of finishing the breath, finishing the in-breath as you finish the turn and breathing out, turning back in. The breath might become disjointed or the movement become less smooth as you're playing with it, you know. Just something to, pr to practice. Check the legs out. Um, what I find more often um, my students will be doing is breathing in one way and breathing out the other way as people have a tendency to do this exercise quite quickly. I think um, you may find that you're drawing breath in to the side of your body that you need to nourish and maybe releasing one side. Um, this can be like a sort of balancing the um, practice for like the masculine and feminine side, depending where you're needing nourishment or needing to release. So if you want to try that, I've just found myself breathing in that side and breathing out this side. And if you just want to let the breath do its own thing for a minute whilst we introduce the arms here. So just sinking the elbows and the shoulders, wrists come out, around, rotating around the ball. Coming back to breathing. Coming back. To, I'm coming back to breathing out. I'm coming to the center. Breathing in. Coming to the sides. But if you want to explore one side than the other, or if you just want to focus on the choreography and let the breath do its own thing. So the breath is, is linked to the shifting and turning, same as the arms are linked to the shifting and turning, so it's not, this one's not really different. Shake it out, weighing the grain, um, so sewing the grain is the same but without the shift. You remember, so just turning the hips, keeping the weight central, and arms coming out the center, rotating around. Grain. So 
same here. So you're breathing in one side, one hand, breathing out the other. Four, breathing in, breathing out, coming to the center, breathing in. So you can be working or matching the moves to the breath or the breath to the move or just being drifting in and out of just allowing or working on whatever you need to work on and coming into the breath and then coming away focusing on the feet making sure you're not twisting the knees Tucking the tail, crown of the head. Breathing. And then moving hands like clouds. I think we can't really do number five without doing one to four, so we're gonna do number four. <laughs> too much um, we'll just we'll take it from the legs we we'll start just with the legs for moving hands like clouds to start off with so it's sh shifting separating the shifting and turning and then turning and shifting and turning Breathing in as we shift. Breathing out as you turn. Or the other way. <laughs> so we shift, change the hands. Turning, rotating. I think just notice the breath for this one rather than breathing instructions for now. Shift, change the hands, turning the hips, rotating. Take your legs out. So, um, number five from our usual um, standing position is a standing um, meditation, Qigong. So, it's why I don't introduce it early on. Standing meditation. Um, in the beginning can be quite sort of hard to grasp and a bit um, challenging for the beginner's mind but um, we've got enough we've, we've got enough to to work on um, so we're shifting into one side shifting the weight and then releasing the other foot pivoting and then we're putting the heel down opposite the other heel. The hips are facing into the diagonal, and the toes are facing the right angle. And 
the arms. Rotating like we're scooping up a pile of leaves. <laughs> Lifting hands or stand and play guitar. Now we don't have to think about breathing and moving at the same time as we do that one breath. In and out. And this um, eight to the legs quickly very good for strengthening the legs and we do this three times on each side so we come back in come out so a standing meditation gives us the chance to Settle the mind, or allow the mind to go where it needs to go, uh, to think about the things that we, we think about in Tai Chi, focusing on what we've been doing on posture and balance. Can't reach the centre. Here we can focus just on breathing deep into the belly without worrying about timing. Making sure the shoulders are sunk down, elbows are heavy, fingers are light, gaze level. I'll show you. This way. So that's the five immortals. Um, shake it out. So walking. Just be in flow before I start uh, <coughs> giving you the breathing. So forward stance, shifting back, pivoting on the heel. Shifting into the diagonal, stepping toes forwards and hip width, shifting the weight forwards, turning the hips. <coughs> so being in flow, you might want to notice the breath. Your breath might be naturally doing what I'm about to suggest. But when we as we're learning the, the concentration, quite often um, there's a tendency to hold the breath. So concentrating, trying to work stuff out. So make sure you're not holding the breath. So it's breathing in as we're shifting back and turning and then breathing out as our um, breath becomes out so our energy moves forwards. Breathing in, breathing 
breathing out. Hang the hands by the side, keep that arms loose or put the um, hands on the belly. Feel the, make sure the breath's going deep into the belly and emptying each time. Or when I teach breathing with this, walking, I kind of find my hands wanting to do the picture wanting to sort of make a picture of the breath coming out and in and out if you want to do the hands The walking is really nice, I think, to have the breathing, to hang the timing of the steps, to have something to hang it onto, and really add to the meditative. So working on keeping upright, shifting the weight underneath the ground, opening the hips so the knees aren't twisting, dropping the tail. Shake it out. So the form, the Cheng Man Ching form. Last class we did single whip. It's a tricky one, so we'll go over that a bit more. And then from single whip, not the best way to show you. <laughs> from single whip, we come forward into the lifting hands we just did in the Immortals. So we've got that one. I'll start this way. Around. <clears throat> so starting posture, heels together, toes facing into the diagonals, bending slightly at the knees. Just starting our form by um, just running over the principles, even if they all start to disappear as soon as we start moving. But here, just taking a, a moment as well, just putting the hands on the belly, just underneath the belly button. Taking a deep breath. Just breathing deep into the belly, expanding chest and emptying. Making sure the tail's pointing down, and we're stretching up through the crown of the head. Starting posture, just doing a bit of standing meditation. Starting posture. And begin sinking into the right hand side. Stepping out. Moving hands like small heavenly circles, breathing in and out. Forward off left. Forward off right. Roll back and press. Push. 
So in the form, um, <coughs> there will be a general, um, as you practice, there'll be a general movement with the breath. Um, like I said in the beginning, and like with the walking, it tends to be a sort of a breathing in and gathering, breathing out, coming forwards, or um, breathing um, in, stretching up, breathing out, coming down. I would say, um, and other advice I've read, says to not get too hung up on tying it all to the breathing, um, particularly early on um, in your Tai Chi. Um, to, it's not to take away from the kind of calming uh, aspect. It can be um, just quite difficult or it then become stressful trying to sort of work it out. Um, so uh, I'll leave it up to you. I'm not going to... Um, you, you may feel into some of the natural, like we push, is a breathe in and out, <coughs> with moving hands like small heavenly circles, same as eagle flying. Um, Breathing in and out. It's often this sort of stepping and the shifting forwards, breathing out. <coughs> but you may, um, if you're becoming familiar with the choreography, there may be just times that you notice. But yeah, make sure you're not holding the breath too much to try and fit it all in. Um, so let's um, run back over single whip, I think. So um, let's do it from some different directions. This is the one we end up with if I'm starting from behind. <coughs> so from single whip, we're going from push, <coughs> right, right foot forwards. Let's do it from this way. <coughs> let's just recap the footwork first. Forward stance, right foot forwards. Roughly 70% of the weight in the front, 30% of the weight in the back. So we're shifting the weight backwards, releasing the right toes, pivoting, toes and knees in line, and then shifting into the right leg, pivoting, around, stepping wide, shifting and squaring, turning in the back foot depending on how far around you. So again, forward stance, shift, turn, Squaring. Um, so you can see the foot width. Let's do one from this way round. Forward stance, shifting back, <laughs> turning, shift, stepping around. Forward stance. So with the arms from push, the arms stay, as we're shifting back, the arms stay fixed with us, and the arms stay fixed with us as we're turning this way, and then as we're turning back, we allow the elbow to come out, this hand to draw in, this one to come under, holding a small ball. As we're picking up the left foot, forming the whip, and then we're drawing, like we're drawing our thread here. <clears throat> Again, from push.
So let's just do one from all the different directions. So you can see the angles. Front push. So I should say from push, <coughs> um, as we sink backwards, there's a slight um, slightly moving away from the hands, increasing the space here, lengthening through the arms as we turn around. So from that way, from this way. <coughs> Left arm ends up in push, and you see. <coughs> and then, left arm, <laughs> this way. So from the top, up to single whip, and then lifting hands. <coughs> I'll show you lifting hands. Just start so you can follow me from the back. The best way. <coughs> like small heavenly circles. Ward off left. Ward off right. Roll back. And press. Push. Single whip. It's good sometimes just to stand in a posture that, um, or stand in a posture in a form, just feel into it as we. Um, learning and we're concentrating and we we bring bring the tension in it's good to just stop and sort of correct yourself correct your posture take some breaths play with the where you want your hands to be in your ideal single whip so i'm not going to demonstrate lifting hands from that way around uh, show you from the front. Um, we'll do one or two without the arms but it makes it much more sense with the arms this one. So this time from forward stance rather than the chigun where we're from goat stance. Coming shifting forwards, picking up the back foot, putting it down on the heel. That's it, we're just doing it on this side. So forward stance, bringing all the weight forward, maintaining upright, and then just turning the hips to the corners, resting on the heel, shake legs up.
so it's from single whip and then gathering. What this actually is as a martial move is uh, is like a holding someone around someone's arm, taking them off balance. Um, the whip shouldn't, the arms, hands shouldn't come behind the centre line of the body in the Tai Chi form. <clears throat> Just reminding myself there. <laughs> so coming forwards, rotating the arms. So let's show you from this way. Single whip. Forwards. Lifting hands. So there's a slight sinking and rising in this one. Um, or should I say it's more obvious in this one, there's a, there's a slight sinking and rising in all the moves in the form. It's a bit too much to, to think about when you're first learning the, um, all the choreography, but that's something you'll be, you'll be bringing in uh, as you move forwards. Um, so, show you from this side. Single whip, forward stance, coming forwards, lifting hands. So let's go from push. around, single whip, lifting hands. Um, so let's do one from the start. Lifting hands, sinking into the right hand side, stepping out. Moving hands like small heavenly circles. Ward off left. Ward off right, roll back and press, push, single whip. Do, let's do another one. I'm going to face the camera this time. <clears throat> Stepping out. More heavenly circles. Roll back and 
press. Push. Single whip. Releasing hands. Shake legs out. So it's good to practice, I would say, um, copying along and then um, pausing the video and trying to do it yourself and seeing what bits you need to go back over so that you're <coughs> committing it to memory <coughs> um, rather than just following along each time. Um, <coughs> I'm going to end the class now. Let's just stand. like we did at the beginning. Hip width, sinking the weight, breathing deep into the belly, just allowing the mind to go into the body a little bit, seeing how the body feels as compared to the beginning of class. Make you feel more relaxed, lighter. just shake it out <clears throat> okay nice one see you for class nine bye bye take care